Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatchers Night here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy Evolution Nemesis Leo Prime. And for anybody who knows me, I typically don't dwell into the G um, the Beast Wars Neo Second stuff, and um, I made an exception for him because he looks so freaking cool. And and anybody who noticed, I also picked up like Scourge from R.I.D. because he looks so freaking cool, even though I don't generally collect in those eras. But when, when they stand out like this, definitely worth getting. And as you see, as with most uh, Nemesis Primes of some type, uh, he is black with uh, some like cyan or teal color highlights. But before we look at him, let's uh, move him aside and take a look at his box. And of course his box is basically uh, a lion and then him and then his things. And then, um, then you know, the side of the box and inside the box paper ties which is always great and then of course the instructions and the don't hurt yourself paper so as always don't hurt yourself only five percent of viewers have subscribed to this channel please consider clicking that subscribe button to get us one step closer to monetization thank you for watching so you're probably asking, why in bot, or not in bot form, why is he in beast form? Because he is such a pain for me to figure out to transform. The instructions were not helpful to me. Uh, I, I know this is like a black thing with a green screen, and it probably makes him a little bit easier to see when I'm holding him up, but um, he is he's nicely dark colored. I, this is just a dark gray with a black mane. I, you know, what's weird to me was that the um, the good version actually had no pupils, and this one does. I feel like it should have swapped it around. This guy had no pupils. That would have made more sense to me. His mouth does open and close. It's super loose, though. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, in addition to this, and then this, like, stabby, clawy bit here, um, which you can tuck into the back of his legs otherwise, uh, he also has this thing with a couple more pistols mounted on it, which I think is really cool. It reminds me of Optimus Primal. So you know how he has that neck cannon thing going on. So that's interesting. Um, other things about this, he is nice and weighty. Like, um, he is packed. He's, like, his bits are crammed in here. Uh, as I'm transforming this thing, I'm going, man, uh, he, he really compacts very nicely. Um, so I'm going to open up his feet here. These are the heels for his bot mode and you would think oh you have to spin his waist you don't his waist is not what gets moved it's his legs it's very interesting these are actually his knees for bot mode and uh so you gotta like his leg his knees are doing that kind of double joint thing the power rangers do um oops um so i don't want to move too soon because all of this is kind of like linked together and um so it, it's like just a lot of tabbing and stuff. I'm gonna take these off because these are just gonna get in the way. Now, uh, I will, I'll show you the him holding the guns later, but he does come with these two pistols in addition, uh, and then they do that. Um, they combine into a larger pistol of some type. So yeah, you got that going on. But anyway, back to this. You got a tail. It's on a nice joint there. Um, but um, first thing you want to do is untab the arms you know the uh, cat arms from this place here they are connected on a ball joint to the actual hands for bot mode and i thought that was interesting um this is actually his chest inverted um so like the whole this is like a clever super clever design although my uh, matrix cavity keeps opening back up and yeah he has the like the beast wars second matrix where it's basically like a single cylinder type looking thing his hands are folded up into his neck and it this is the, the most difficult part for me was figuring out exactly where the hands go because i'm like well they obviously they, they go out of place here but uh so yeah they fold into his neck and you have to pull all of this out and swing it around to uh get your arms free and um uh, i thought that was pretty interesting so the other thing is his his uh, bot head is actually let's see if we keep this up here inside his chest. I thought that was really clever. Uh, and then you just uh, you don't have to twist his head. By the way, this guy's head is super tight on this joint. Uh, but you put the cavity back in here, and then when you lower the arms, you complete the chest. So uh, let's see. There we go. And of course, uh, they just lock in down here when you do that. And, um, 
I'm gonna try to straighten out his arms like put his arms or hands back into place uh, ratchet these or there's no ratchet should I say there's I'm um, just twist them although I got to find the proper orientation it's like really confusing for me for whatever reason but uh, there we go got it yeah so you see we got that going on here because uh, I'm uh, like where did the cat legs go but uh, yeah you got to figure all that out uh, this of course was the main piece that covering up the sides here and it just pegs back in to the side of the arms here it's a nice satisfying click um, anyway to show you the matrix chamber it's just this thing here so you yeah, guys it's neat enough and so as we are slowly undoing this um, and I should have realized uh, I the a chest when it's in here it's actually pegged in back here but apparently I popped it off so we're just gonna start popping off the back pieces here that way I can straighten his legs out and turn his knees around and uh, then you turn his feet around and there's a like a, a ratchet in there to kind of get you to line up the feet but uh, yeah I, I just I'm, I'm not a big fan of this but they obviously said the line mode over the uh, bot mode in how this stuff will appear. So in line mode, he's, he's smooth. It's fine. So we've done this. So we pull all this up. The tail folds underneath here. So um, then you can kind of collapse these onto each other. Uh, what's going to happen is there's this joint here. I'm going to move the arms out of the way. And uh, we're going to rotate this. Uh, if I can get it to... So there are two like joints here. I don't know how well you can see it uh, but we need to rotate this piece oh if it'll let me there we go and it meets up with the uh, what was the center part behind the main to complete this kind of pathway and uh, this ends up being like kind of a shoulder pad I guess because so does this and um, it's fine I mean and, and the functionality for the weapons back here still work so it doesn't get in the way and of course you can reattach these other guns on onto him when you're done and uh, I actually like the backpack is just basically this one piece here and it, it's not in the way but then there, he has this kibble on his arms um, that just kind of go with him but it's meant so you can still use the like the dagger piece I guess so if you wanted to use those in his uh, bot mode you could just flash him out and he has another set of arms too so I mean that, that kind of works out rather nicely um, I'm trying to figure out if there's like a way these actually lock together but it doesn't look like it they just kind of feel like they naturally fit together and uh, I'm gonna put these away and we are going to straighten him out and he stands really nice so that's great uh, we're going to put his guns into his hands Let's see. Oh, he fell. Stands real nice until I mess with him. Uh, these things go back into these little tabs here. Let's see if I can show that. Tab. They're not uh, super strong, but I mean, they fit in there and they'll stay in there as long as you don't like touch them, I guess. But uh, here's what it looks like at the back. It's decent. It doesn't have like big old gaps anywhere, but. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, interesting. Now you can reposition these other ways if you wanted to. Um, I honestly haven't found a, a way that I super like that isn't just more kibble hanging out. I don't know. Anyway, bend these. Um, I will kind of wish wish it, it kind of did um, like Cheetor and, and um, Tigertron does. Uh, but uh, I, guess, I guess we're not going to get that. But... Uh, yeah, his head is like really tight, but uh, I mean, look at the, the eye color on there. It's, I love it. Just it really sticks out, and um, when you consider like all all of this, then on his waist, and then the, the tiger toes, and then right here, it's just uh, it works out really nice. So I um, wasn't originally going to get him. I don't have any dogs on, um, in the interest of Beast Wars 2nd or Neo or wherever this guy's from. I just, he looks cool. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. 
Did you get it? And how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.